what's going on family how you doing this is chef jeff coming to you this is the first episode the first episode finally the first episode of home cooking with chef jeff period so today my wife wanted some tacos so i said i'm gonna do some tacos my way so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna do some carnita tacos which means carnita means pork so we're gonna do some pork tacos and I've already pretty much did my mise en place and I'm gonna show you what that's all about right now and what I'm putting in this. Um, I got a Boston butt that's gonna cook uh, for several hours. Right now it's about two o'clock, so it's gonna cook until about five. That should be just enough time to make it tender like I want it. And uh, hey, we're gonna see what's happening. So come on with me, here we go. Like that. All right, family, so here we go. So I did my mise en place, and I'm going to show you uh, what I have going on right now. So right here, we have some uh, scallions, uh, green onions. We got cilantro right here. We got garlic right there. There's my uh, pork that I'm going to do. I'm going to put some beer in that. That's uh, a cup of beer. This right here is parsley. We got lime juice right here. We got um, my taco season that I made up. And this is just some S&P with a little oregano, that salt and pepper with a, with a little oregano. Right here is my chicken stock. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna, um, we're gonna start off by putting a little salt and pepper and oregano on it, on the, um, on the uh, turkey, I mean, I'm sorry, on, on the pork, and we're gonna kind of sear it um, all in so we can kind of seal in the juices, and then from there we're gonna start adding the stuff. So here we go. All right, so here's the first thing we're gonna do. We're gonna start seasoning it up with a little, uh, little salt and pepper here. We're gonna just, you know, put it on there. And uh, of course, wash my hands and stuff. So yeah, we just keep seasoning it up like this right here. The grease is already hot. We're gonna put it, we're gonna put this right there in, uh, in the grease and let it seal up. Then we're gonna start adding layers onto it. All right, here we go. All right, so now we're gonna put this into the oil. As you can see, what I did with this oil is I did a little um, butter and a little, uh, I use uh, corn oil instead of uh, olive oil. What it's gonna do, it's gonna seal it just enough. Once it finished sealing it, then I'll start adding the other stuff. We'll start by adding the uh, scallions and the garlic. Let them cook down just a little bit. And then we're gonna add the, uh, the uh, we're gonna add the cilantro and other things and then we'll start adding the season and then add the beer and the chicken stock in there all right all right so so as you can see it's uh it's seared up um i turned the heat up just a little bit so i, I can get a, a little bit more browning on it and what that's gonna do that's gonna lock the flavors in if you listen you can kind of hear it cooking away uh and so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna do all all the sides on it and what i did with this with this pork roast it was a large bone in pork pork butt but what I did was, I cut enough off because it's just my wife and I, so I didn't want to cook the whole thing. I just cooked enough so that if we want to go back and get seconds to thirds or eat some more tomorrow, that's what we'll do. So it's just enough for me and her. Probably a little bit too much, but we'll make it do what it do. So you just keep cooking this like this right here, just searing it, basically. And what you want to do when you sear it, you really want it to be on high heat. Um, the high heat is what makes it uh, sear faster, and as you add your grease, you turn it down back to uh, medium. So right now I got it on high, and that, what that's doing is, is getting it to sear. So, all right, be back with you guys in a minute. Now, you see that color right there? That's what you want on. You want it to brown. That's what seals seals the uh, the juices in. That's what you want. So as you can see, turn this over too. So you got it. See what I'm saying? See how that's looking? That's what that's what you want to have. See how that's looking right there? That's what you want to have. Yeah, that's what you want. So turn up just enough so that you can get what you're trying to get, and then you know just keep it going until you do all four sides. It don't, it don't take long. You just have to make sure that your heat is hot. See what I'm saying? See, I just turned it over that way. This right here is pretty good. I'm gonna get ready to start adding my my other things to it, and what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna start by adding the garlic and the um, scallions, and then we'll be ready to keep it moving. 
See what I'm saying? Yeah, that's all. Just get around up in there like that. It's gonna be good. Oh yeah, we on our way. Like that. All right, so as you can see, we got a brighter on all sides. This is right here. This is gonna be good because it's got some fat on it. That's what I definitely wanted. And as you can see, see what I'm saying? So it's browning on all sides. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add our garlic in here. We're gonna put our garlic in and we're gonna get that going. Like this right here. It don't take long. You just want it to kind of um, cook this for a little bit. It's, all hot. it's hot enough as it is, so you just want to cook for a little bit. You don't want it to brown. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add our scallions in right now, just like that. Get all of them out. All right, so we got our scallions in. We're gonna add our scallions in like this. We're gonna let them cook down just a little bit. And we're just gonna continue to add layers to it, just as, as we're doing right here. All right, see what I'm saying? And it smells delicious too, man. Good God Almighty. All right, so now we're gonna add our cilantro up in here. And we're gonna let that cook a little bit. In this, in this fat, because see what has happened is, this pork has rendered some fat down as well. And so now you got everything, see how the, uh, if you can kind of see how the scallions kind of looking translucent there, trying to get closer, you see how they're looking translucent. So it don't take long, you just have to, you know, get it up in there and then you want to add your parsley. Add your parsley up in there like I just did and get that going, let that cook. Because see, what you're gonna do is you're gonna just, you just trying to incorporate this into the to the grease so that it'll, it'll marinate. That's all. Now, now that we got that going, we're going to add this lemon juice in here. All right, and we're just going to kind of see how it changes the complexity. It's kind of like stop cooking now. It's kind of doing its own thing. All right, now. All right, so now we're going to add the beer in. And we're gonna let this cook down just a little bit so it can cook the alcohol out. That's the whole thing, we wanna cook the alcohol out. The beer is just gonna add a little bit more flavor to it along with everything that's going on. See what I'm saying? So we're gonna let that cook down just a little bit. Once that cook, we're gonna let that cook down for uh, a couple of minutes to get uh, cook the alcohol out. Once the alcohol is cooked out, then I'll add the uh, chicken stock and add my seasoning and we'll let it go for now. Be back in a sec. So now as you see, the beer is cooking down. What we're gonna do is we're gonna turn it down. I just wanted the beer to cook out. And we're gonna, we're gonna turn it down. We're gonna add, we're gonna add the chicken stock into it. We're just gonna add more flavor into it. And as you can see, there's a chicken stock going in. Make sure I get it all in now. Chicken stock going in. Now, that's what you want. Now this is gonna cook in this juice and you're gonna let this, you're gonna let this reduce, okay? So now, once it reduces, that's where the flavor is going to testify in, in the meat. Now we can go ahead, we can add some of our uh, seasoning in here, as you see. So I'm only adding half right now, but this is going to make it intensify. Yes. And uh, by the way, that seasoning has cumin, it has garlic powder, onion powder. It's got a little bit of uh, smoked habanero in there which is something that I use, um, I absolutely love. And it's also got some chili lime seasoning in it. So, so that's it. That's all we do. Put the top on it, let that baby go. And I'll be back with the finished product, as you can see. Boom. All right, guys, be back with the finished product. Peace. All right, fam. Hey, I'm back. As you can see, it's reduced down. I'm going to reduce it just a little bit more. I've shredded the meat already off camera, um, but I've reduced it down. And then to be ready, I got my tomatoes, cilantro, and my onions cut up. Got my cheese and sour cream ready. And uh, we're going to be ready to eat in a little bit. Uh, I'll come back with the presentation. All right, peace. All right, fam, here you go, here you go, here you go. I got three tacos. We got one that's got um, guacamole on it. It's got the sour cream on it, as you can see. It's got the um, the green, I mean, um, the red onions and the tomatoes and the meat, the carnitas, uh, which is the uh, pork. Uh, then we got these two that 
uh, just have everything but the guacamole on it. So as you can see, these are beautiful. I got them in the uh, in the hard shells, and they came out perfectly. I'm going to eat these bad boys, me and my wife, and we're going to enjoy it. All right, y'all. So if you want the recipe, hit me up um, on Facebook uh, at Perry's Fit Q, or you can also go you can go to my um, YouTube page and check it out at Perry's Fit Q. And um, make sure you like and subscribe and follow me on Facebook. Also on Instagram as well. All right, the Chef Jeff and I'm out.